This is one of the crate myrtles, um, or crate myrtle stands, I guess, on the property. And I've been pulling out huge branches and the vines that killed them. Um, some of them were really big, the branches. But it's rotting in a fabulous way and I can use it because that makes great compost. Um, but you can see huge branches coming out, or long ones, I should say. But look what those vines were doing, it's so sad. Um, it made for a beautiful piece of wood. I'll prop it up. I just pulled this one off, but look at that. Kind of beautiful in a twisted way, um, but when I decided I really needed to get in here is, <clears throat> well, first of all, it's very near the patio and it's a haven for mosquitoes. But look at this poor tree. That's just from a vine. Way. Um, these all have to be cut and pulled out. And sometimes that's easy and sometimes it's not. Um, there's one great big huge branch though. I don't know if I can get a video of it. The forked one. Right here. It goes all the way up there and then into nothing. Oh, that's one of the birds that lives in the tree and she's not happy with me. And all the way down, works right there and goes all the way down. I've got to pull that out later. And there are several, but there's one trunk back here to show you the age if I can get a picture of it. The size of some of these trunks where they've merged and it's amazing in here. But so much of it has died off from these vines. And speaking of it, we have, where did it go? We have honeysuckle with this kind of leaf, not the offender. This is the offender. And it looks so innocent. It's just little bitty thin vines. But no, because eventually, this and this and it's absolutely damaging this beautiful tree so I have no idea how long let's see if I can get a some kind of perspective shot here if I can walk far enough away um, I have no idea how long just this one area is gonna take me because that's a really big tree and then there's a smaller stand there and then really big ones this size um, or larger in the front and they're all covered in this stuff in dead wood and underbrush and stuff what fun <laughs> gotta save the trees though